You want flowers sent to you every week? Start to send flowers to yourself every Monday. And then once somebody starts dating you and they see how happy you make you, the first thing that's gonna go in their head is, hmm. Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. And on today's episode, I'm gonna be giving you guys three quick ways on how to manifest your dream partner. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. So the first way to manifest your dream partner is that you have to have high standards. What you settle for is what you will receive. Your standards, they show people how to treat you. They show people what you will and will not tolerate. So if you're in a relationship and you are not happy or you find yourself constantly complaining, it is because you do not have high standards. You at work all day, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're taking care of the kids, and you come home and your spouse hasn't done anything and they just been playing the game all day. That is because you do not have high standards. Somebody with high standards would not tolerate that. You would not tolerate somebody who is not ambitious, somebody who is not determined. What you allow is what you will continue to get. If you allow somebody to be disrespectful to you, that is what you are telling them that you want. Set some boundaries make your standards higher same thing with Nicki Minaj what did she say now when I come to a photo shoot let it be of quality you know why because I put quality in what I do so if I turn up to a photo shoot and you had and you got a $50 clothes budget and some sliced pickles on court you want to know what no I am gonna leave next time they know better but had I accepted the pickle juice, I would be drinking pickle juice right now. That was the perfect example. If she did not set her standards high from the beginning, like she said, she would be sitting there right now drinking pickle juice. You have to set your standards high. It does not matter if you are deemed a bitch. It does not matter if you are deemed as a diva or complicated. Yes, do it respectfully. But at the end of the day, you have to have high standards and you cannot fold on those standards. I don't care how fine somebody is. I don't care how well they're treating you. I don't care what their status is, how much money they make. I do not care. Do not settle on your standards. Set them as high as possible. If you want somebody who goes and gets their nails done, that is your preference. If you want somebody who is well kept and on top of their hygiene, that is your preference. If you, if you prefer somebody who is natural, that is your preference. If you want somebody every time you guys go on a date, you want them to open your door, that is your preference. If you don't want your first date to be Ruby Tuesdays or TGI Fridays and you want to go to Nobu or you want to go to Ruth Chris, that is your standards. You will find somebody for you. A lot of people feel like if they set their standards low, then they will attract more people. And yes, that's true. But you are not going to attract the right kind of people. The same way you can attract flies with honey, you can attract bees with honey. Set your standards so high that not everybody can reach them. Everybody wants the hotel room with the flowers and the roses and the balloons but you, your standards are not matching up with that. You didn't have sex with them on the first date. You didn't let them take you to McDonald's on the first date. You have to set your standards high. I am telling you, your standards is what shows people how to treat you. So the second way to manifest your dream person is you have to become the person you want to date. So for example, say you're upset. You will want your partner to come over and check up on you. Like, hey, you're upset? Do you want to go shopping? Do you want to go get a massage? 
Do you want to lay down and watch movies all day? Or do you want to vent? You have to learn how to soothe your own emotions. Treat yourself how you would want your significant other to treat you. You want somebody to cater to you, but you haven't gotten up yet and brushed your teeth or washed your face. You haven't done your hair in a week. You haven't done laundry in a month. You want somebody to spoil you, but when is the last time you bought yourself something? You want somebody to care about your emotions. When's the last time you cared about your own emotions? When's the last time you sat down and be like, okay, this is how I'm feeling. This is how I want to feel. This is what's causing me not to feel the way I want. Do you do your own emotional self checkups? No, but you want somebody to care about your emotions. If you want somebody to spoil you, you have to spoil yourself. You want flowers sent to you every week? Start to send flowers to yourself every Monday. And then once somebody starts dating you and they see how happy you make you, the first thing that's gonna go in their head is, hmm, how can I top this? She doing all of this for herself to make herself happy. How can I add to that? So now they're thinking of ways to go bigger and better than what you're doing for yourself. You sending yourself a dozen flowers every Monday, now they're sending you two or three dozen. It's a mind game. If somebody sees what you are already doing for you, they are going to try to top that. You have to do it for yourself. You have to set the tone. So when somebody starts dating you and they see that you get yourself flowers every week, or they see that you keep your own nails, hair, and toes done, they see you pay your own bills, in their mind they trying to conjure up ways to top what you're doing for you because if you're already making yourself happy it's like well damn they don't really need me so how can i add to what they are already doing for themselves like i said in the first one what you settle for is what you will receive it all starts with you you attract who you are, you keep what you allow. So the third way to manifest your dream partner, and it's kind of like the second way, and that is to fill your own cup up. And you have to do this so that somebody is in addition to your happiness. Be in a relationship because of love and not because of survival. Plus, it'll be easier for you to leave if it's for love rather than if it's for survival. And I know y'all in your head like, well, Seiko, if it's genuinely for love, wouldn't that make it harder for me to leave rather than if I was with somebody for survival? Think about it. If I came up to you and I gave you two options, survival or love, you can have love, but there's no survival. You can have survival, but there's no love. I'm pretty sure you're going to pick survival. That's why I'm saying when you are with somebody for a survival, you have a lack mindset. You feel like you have to be with them because of what they do for you. You're codependent and you could be codependent on needing shelter, needing money, needing food, clothes, a car, whatever it is. So yes, that is going to make it a lot harder to leave them. Where are you gonna go if they supply your shelter? Where are you gonna go if they are your source of income? But if you are with somebody for love and not for survival, it is because you genuinely love them. And to genuinely love somebody, you have to have that within yourself and for yourself first. So if you have that strong sense of self-love, as soon as somebody treats you wrong, you are out of there, which is why it is easier for you to leave because you are with somebody because you genuinely love them, not because you need them, not because of what they can do for you or they're helping you survive. That's why I said you have to heal yourself you have to be whole. One person's whole, the other person's whole, and y'all are just pouring into each other, that is overflow. 
if one person's cup is not full and the other person's cup is not full, what are y'all pouring into each other? Nothing. And, but you're expecting this person to give you something and they're expecting you to give them something and y'all don't have shit to give to each other. You guys are draining each other. This is why you are not manifesting the person of your dreams. For one, you don't have high standards. So you can't weed through the bullshitters. Because if you had high standards, the people who are not for you are not even going to put in the work to get you if your standards are high. You are too hard to get. But the people who are for you, that's easy work. You are not finding your dream person because you have not become that person. You want everybody to do for you what you are not doing for yourself. You are not finding your dream person because you are not filling up your own cup. You are dating people whose cups are empty as well and expecting them to pour it into you. Pour what? Exactly, more emptiness. And they're expecting you to pour into them, but you don't have anything. This is why you guys are clashing. This is why it's not lasting. But I am Sego Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.